I feel like I look like Tyrese, congratulations, but y'all. And I, I'm just gonna have to let myself cry because genuinely like, I have been waiting so long for this moment. Like, so long. And they just scheduled me for March 21st. Like, I'm literally, literally scheduled. Like, this is really, really happening. All I wanted to do was come home and get this sugar-free popsicle. Y'all, today was day one of my liquid diet. Now, it's not horrible because I do get to eat one lean meal a day. I just knew I was going to be lean cuisine. But I honestly, I was scared of them lean cuisines anyway because you know they got their sodium. That sodium, and I got my blood results back and I'm good. I don't got no high cholesterol. I don't got... Nathaniel, I do got that anemia. I do got that anemia. Now, why am my doctor, my primary care, gonna tell my surgeon that I should get a transfusion after surgery? Hold on. Hold on. And then it made me realize, bitch, I don't even know my blood type. At my big age, I'm 28 years old, I don't know my blood type. I just know I bleed. This liquid diet, I got through day one. And I didn't cheat. I didn't eat anything that I wasn't supposed to eat. And trust me, when I walked up in the concert, when I walked up in the House of Blues, they had some good chicken wings up hot, fresh. They had some new fries too. But I said, no. Nah. I said, no. Nah. I was drinking my water, drinking my water now. I'm about to have to start carrying a little sugar-free squirt squirt in my bag so that when I am out and about, I can just have something because just drinking water all day. Listen, I had a full funeral. I did. I had a full funeral. I have shame because honestly, I wish I wouldn't have, or maybe I just wish I would have did it sooner. Like instead of waiting until literally the week of time to go on a liquid diet, <laughs> I wish I would have full funeral like a couple weeks ago, so I could have got back used to eating the way I've been eating or whatever. But Nonetheless, honestly, it's totally mind over matter because I was on WeGovi for the last about two months. I've been on WeGovi or whatever. So I wasn't eating a ton of food anyways in the first place. But I think just knowing that you have the restrictions, you know, it's kind of like you want to be a little bit of a rebel. But I won't. But I won't. And then honestly, if I'm just really keeping it pee with y'all, I'm just so scared of self-sabotaging during these next 14 days you know what i mean like i know that i'm ready i know that i'm ready but it's just so new you know it's so different um i don't i don't know you know what i don't know or whatever then uh, of course people have been sending me you know their experiences and i definitely appreciate them but you know of course i've been hearing you know the crazy stories already i know everybody's body is different or whatever but day one i feel like i won i won day one we got 13 more days to go until it's surgery day i'll check in with y'all tomorrow good morning today is day three of my liquid diet and i didn't vlog yesterday and i really should have because yesterday was actually hard um I'm kind of ashamed to admit this, and I know I shouldn't feel shame, but I'm more so disappointed in myself, but I cheated. I cheated on day two of my liquid diet, and I think, honestly, I'm just a little frustrated with how easy it was for me to cheat, you know? Like, I know how serious this is. I know why I'm on a liquid diet. I know I'm shrinking my leather or whatever, but, um... It just was so easy for me and I have talked about this before how self-sabotage is a real thing. It's a real thing. I went in Panera Bread to get some soup so that I can have something brothy that was going to be actually delicious and <laughs> I had a free coupon or whatever for something. I was like, oh, it's going to expire. I'm not going to be able to use it and 
I just really wanted the mac and cheese and I feel like I only wanted it because I was there if I wasn't there I probably would have been okay and what kills me is before I went to go get the broth I had told myself I said mm, you should go home and eat your lean meal that you already cooked so that you're good when you go out and run all these errands for the rest of the day I didn't listen to myself. I was like, no, I'm good, I'm good. Mind you, I hadn't had any water with me, which I got some water in my Panera cup. I did get some water when I left Panera or whatever. Sometimes, like, I don't even think you really want something. You just are used to having what you want when you want it, and it's a sensation. So, today I have a long day ahead of me. A long day ahead of me. I have my photo shoot while I get my hair done. I get my makeup done, I have a photo shoot tonight, or whatever, um, I'm about to go to the gym now. So we're gonna be disciplined, and I'm not gonna beat myself up so much. I'm happy I cheated on day two versus day 12. You know what I mean? I'm happy that I went through this now, and experienced it, and I know how it makes me feel, and I don't wanna feel like this again. I know that I deserve this, and I'm not gonna be the one to stop myself. And I don't know why there's a voice in the back of my head telling me that I'm gonna be the one to fuck it up, but it's gotta, shut the fuck up. I feel like I'm just gonna be crying the next damn 12 days. I posted a video really because I find myself like being transparent is a way to humanize myself because I talk about all the time like I've been on autopilot for years just taking care of my house. I left my mom's house when I was 18 and even before that I was independent as hell living under her roof and um I've never really had time to like sit and process my feelings and my emotions like I don't got time I gotta go to work I gotta go to class I gotta make this money or whatever so it's like when you live in a life that you're more comfortable or whatever like all these feelings come up because you finally have the time to deal with them you know what I mean and um I don't I didn't realize how much I felt so unworthy like I really gotta dig deep in that with therapy or whatever but it's like in the back of my mind, I'm like, man, this isn't gonna happen for you. Like, and so many things happen for me. So I'm like, why would I think that this won't be another good thing that happens for me when God has blessed me with so many other good things? I just got back from the Jimmy Gym. I'm feeling better. Plus, honestly, I am so lucky to have the community that I have online. Like, Charles in here wheezing boohoo and crying like the encouragement like i feel so lifted so motivated something that i'm doing different today for day three of my liquid diet is having protein i had water and a lean meal on both two days except i didn't even tell y'all oh i did tell y'all i said i had mac and cheese that was mac and cheese okay yeah 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 all right so i've been asking for new protein shapes because I just know that that what's the name may get mm, oh six grams of sugar oh so you the only sugar I can have is through my protein shake okay cool let me open this up y'all gonna judge me if I use my teeth I don't care honestly and you like it somebody touched it somebody touched me not like that shake her up Beat that hole from the bottom. Beat it. Beat it. This don't look like Jesus. That's what you gotta stop fucking playing. Okay. Let's get into it. Let's get into her. I hope this is good. Okay. It's white. It's strawberry and banana, but it's white. We're on to something. Fair life good as hell. Mmm. Hell and good. Hell and good. Damn, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm switching to fair life. I did a horrible job of vlogging um, today. I look at absolute mess. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna insert some clips from the photo shoot, but yeah, I look absolute mess. My hair is crazy. It, it looks like I did not pay one thunday for last step 
to get it done, but it's okay. Right now, it is literally 5 a.m. I know that's horrible, but I just got back, back in from the after hours after celebrating my birthday because I just felt like if I was going to do this photo shoot and I was going to be looking that fine, I needed to be, I look a mess right now. I just needed to capture the moment, but nonetheless, um, I'm warming up my food. I'm warming up some chicken, some squash, some Brussels sprouts, or whatever. It, I know it's super, super late slash early, but I actually didn't eat a meal today. I had a protein shake, the Fair Life that I ranted and raved about, and then I had some chicken noodle soup broth. I did not eat the noodles. I did not eat any of the chicken or whatever, and I was super proud of myself, and I was actually full. I feel like me being on the Begovi before the medicine, like I said before, has definitely set me up for success, but it's time for me to un- mask i mean this food and i actually got some little chores i'm gonna do to let my food get a chance to digest before i go to bed all right honey good night good morning today is monday march 11th we are 10 days away from surgery surgery is next thursday <laughs> surgery is next thursday i didn't vlog yesterday it was kind of like a recovery day um, when I got in last night, I did eat my low carb meal. Well, my, my one meal a day, my lean meal. I did eat it yesterday or whatever when I got home. So I actually didn't eat any food for the rest of yesterday. Um, I did hydrate. I was hydrated and hydrated and hydrating. I was drinking water like there was just something in it. And then at a point in time, I had just like kind of a craving to just have something or whatever. So I wound up, um, just having a sugar-free popsicle. This morning, I'm going to try out the um, vanilla core power fair life shake. I loved the strawberry and banana, and I went back to the store, and there was not one strawberry and banana in sight. So, everyone likes to fuck the strawberry and banana. Now, I, I don't feel like I'm going to like this vanilla flavor. I'm, I'm not a vanilla person. Just like the chocolate. I actually didn't even want to drink the chocolate. I felt bad um, for wasting my money on it. But... I'm just not a huge chocolate person. But honestly, like, now that I know how good these are, it's hard for me to, for me to even open my fucking Premier Protein. Like, I don't want it. <laughs> this is actually so good. Wow. This is actually so good, and it tastes just like vanilla like this tastes like vanilla the only thing about these is they have less protein and more sugar than the premier protein shakes or whatever but it says it's a high protein milkshake i need to get the um other version like they have another version of the fair life protein shakes or whatever they have like 42 grams of protein but i didn't think i was gonna like this and i don't like it that much to just drink it by itself so, I'm going to actually make a smoothie out of it. I could do a little bit of fruit in it. So, let's blend it up. Here's the smoothie, the protein smoothie. I'm kind of scared I fucked it up. Like, what if I don't like it as much? And I feel like this is kind of like two servings. Let's taste it. I feel like because I know I can't use straws post-op for a little bit but i'm just using my straws even more but honestly i'm a straw girl like i love a straw hmm. it's all right i feel like i definitely would drink it this way over just drinking it with vanilla and while my doctor told me that i can have one lean meal a day and i know he know what he's talking about I really don't want to have the meal like I don't know I just want to make sure that my liver is as small as possible and that stomach is empty okay I don't want no smoke when I'm under <sighs> today is day six today's day six of the liquid diet it's Tuesday and honestly I don't know how I'm feeling right now like I feel like I want to eat but I don't necessarily want to eat my meal that I cooked and prepped or whatever, but I feel like it's just a desire to eat. I don't feel like it's a I'm really hungry type of thing. Like I feel like I could probably go a little bit longer before I have my meal for today. Um, 
I feel like it's definitely a mental thing right now. So I'm about to heat up some broth because maybe I just want something warm because I'm like, I don't want a popsicle. I took a couple sips of my Gatorade Zero. I don't want that. I don't want any water. I have my protein shake and I actually feel satisfied. I kind of feel like maybe I just want some flavor. Maybe I don't need broth right now. Maybe I just need some gum. <laughs> maybe I just need some gum. I feel like maybe I'm just bored. Like I'm working, I'm sitting at my desk. I've been getting up. Maybe some gum. Try gum. Good morning. It's Thursday, March 14th. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday. I didn't really have anything on my mind. Um, it's a week away. You know? And... Well, I'm so excited. Like, I just really can't believe, like, I'm about to change my life. Like, <laughs> this is the only life I've known, you know? I just wonder what my mom would think. Like, I'm finally really doing it. I've been talking about this so long, you know, and... It's not a talk anymore, like, it's about to be my reality. Should I already pay? They called me yesterday, and like, hey, we wanna register you, we register you, or whatever, like, yeah, um, and your out-of-pocket cost, I'm like, what? what's the out-of-pocket cost? It was 887, I had $700 in my HSA, I said, y'all do split payment? Do y'all do split payment? <laughs> they did do split payment, so, I paid the 887. I placed my order for my vitamins. I placed my order for things I feel like I'll use post-op to make me comfortable. Um, today, I start taking Miralax, the still softener, and they said it's nasty. They said it is nasty, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, I don't know, I have had little cheat moments here and there, and honestly, for the next couple days, I really don't wanna eat that one meal. I wanna try my hardest to just make it to liquids because I gotta, I gotta stop eating solid foods two days before surgery, so. Really, Monday, my last day to eat a solid food anyway, so it's like, I can make it Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Without Nathaniel to eat, girl, bye. Today is Friday the 15th. I just got back in from going to Sam's Club. I wanted to like pick up some Gatorade Zero, but they didn't have any. So I wound up just picking up some other stuff while I was out. I also picked up my drugs. This is a medicine for nausea. Take one tablet by mouth every eight hours. It's 20 of these. This is a bottle of codeine. Codeine? Purple drink? Oh, okay. Uh, so they don't give Percocets. Percocet. My like Percocet. They don't give that no more because the people were getting addicted. And then this is. They still don't take this medication with food. Huh? Um. I don't, I'm not gonna be able to eat no food. But it says, I don't know what this medicine is. I, I don't know what this, I gotta look this up. I gotta take one tablet in the morning, one tablet in the evening, and there's only four pills in here. The Google said that this is a steroid. So they gave me a medicine for pain, which is a cert. It makes sense that they gave me a cert because you can't really have anything else. And then, like I said, the nausea medicine and then uh, the steroid. I am getting ready to go to the gym. Um, it being Friday, surgery is literally next week. Like, surgery isn't even a week away anymore. It is next week. It is literally Thursday. <sighs> wow. I realized that me not being in the streets... Am I boring? Like, 
bitch, do I not have any hobbies outside of going to Monday Madness, Taco Tuesday, Wing Wednesdays, Thirsty Thursdays, Freaky Fridays, Sexy Saturdays, and Sunday Sunday? Damn. Bitch, I'm bored. Like, I gotta go find something to do today. It's Saturday. I'm about to be in the house for a little bit anyways. Why the fuck am I about to sit in the house all day? I'm gonna really have to find a life because don't get me wrong, I can go to these places. Like, I can go, but do I feel like tempted to order drinks or order hookah? No, I don't think so, but I've kind of been avoiding them. And post-stop, I'm like, am I going to sit in the house until I can have a sip of liquor again? I'm going to have to figure that out. Okay, so I started to use my big girl brain. And I love going to the movies. Like, I'm a movie person. I can go to the movies at any point of time, in the day, whatever. So, I have been wanting to see the American Society of Magical Negroes. They have a 12 o'clock show on it. It's 10.39. I still got to get a fresh ass, so I'm not going to go to the 12 o'clock show. I'm going to go to the 3 o'clock show because I still need to go to the gym. Shit, for me, going to the movies is like going to my little spots because at the movies, I always will give me a cocktail. I always will give me something to eat. So I need to make sure I have my protein shake or protein smoothie before I go to the movie so that it doesn't even cross my mind to do something stupid five days out from surgery. So, I actually didn't do none of that shit I said I was gonna do, but I did go to the gym. I just got a pop-up package from the Zahn of Anna, of Anna, okay? I ordered some more, not more. I ordered shit for free, post shit. Okay. I, this shit is so mental, like, bro. This shit is so mental. It's literally 9.33. I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> like, it's the same day. It's the same day. I'm about to go to bed because I, I don't mind, bro. It, it's just, like, so, so bad. And today I realized, like, I do not have anything to do, you know, like I said, outside of activities that are centered around eating and drinking. So... I'm gonna get an embroidery machine. I've been wanting to get into some little fashions for brown honey anyways. So I'm gonna get me an embroidery machine. I gotta find one though and figure out how to use the motherfucker, but I'll worry about that another day. I'm about to go ahead and go to bed. Before I go to bed, I am gonna drink this shake because I literally felt the hunger sensation. I didn't eat any solid foods today. Well, I did have a couple crackers with my soup, with my broth or whatever, because I actually took the chicken and the noodles and the carrots out of it and I threw them away. I'm like, damn, I wish I could do something better with them. But nonetheless, I'm gonna finish this and I'm gonna head to bed because I don't mind is a dangerous thing. Good night. Good morning, today's Sunday. As y'all can see, I finally took them damn two strands twist out. I was looking a mess. I get my hair done on Tuesday, so I had to do this anyways. Um, I almost was not gonna go to church. I was so restless last night. My spirit was so unsettled, and I can't believe I thought about not going to church, but um, I thought my phone was on D&D, but uh, apparently it wasn't, and Ryan called me, and I just got right out of bed. I took a shower literally right before I went to sleep last night. I didn't even have a shapoopy yet, which means I'm not going to take my mirror life this morning. I'm going to take it when I get home. I'm probably going to take a shake with me to go because I just don't trust myself to leave the house, not eat nothing, and then be out in the wild like... You really do gotta stay prepared so that you don't feel tempted. And I didn't have any food yesterday. I had a couple crackers in my soup. I wanna do another no food day. Monday I can't have a meal, but I'm not. Or if I really just wanna make sure I give myself the best chance with that liver shrinkage or whatever. But let's go to church. I have a spirit of expectancy. I really feel like um, God is gonna talk to me today because I do believe and I do have faith, but you know, there's nothing wrong with a little bit more uh, peace and confirmation or whatever, but let's go praise the Lord. Church was amazing. Church was healing. Church was confirmation. I went in there with a spirit of expectancy and sometimes you gotta really tell God, like God, can you talk to me in this house? Today's message was, of course, the scripture everybody always talks about. 
no weapons formed against me shall prosper. And we always talk about that from the perspective of external weapons, right? But what about the internal? What about if you the one with the, okay? And what if it's all in your head? And that's exactly what he preached about. I'm gonna throw the notes up right there. Okay, throw the notes up right there. But um, man, when I say I'm sick that I've been missing church the last couple weeks through the Mind Trigger series, or whatever but i feel like that's exactly what i've been missing i've been really feeling you know just off course off the path and it's because i haven't been centered in my faith or whatever i've been really centered in fear but baby when i say i am free when i say i am free i lift my head up with a whole different attitude today i'm feeling great i'm getting ready to go to the gym as you can see the hair is still should popping mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's go get this work 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 because Tomorrow we got Monday, then we got Tuesday, then we got Wednesday, and then when I rise, it's surgery that baby. It's surgery. I still did not eat a meal today. I'm proud of myself. I had two protein shakes, a sugar free popsicle, and a little cup of that good sugar free yak crystal light. I don't know what, I, I don't really believe that that ain't no sugar in it. It got some, it tastes like Kool Aid. Is that just what real flavor is? I'm pretty sure it's still artificial. Mm. I almost forgot about y'all today. I feel like it's because my mind is so much clearer than what it's been the last couple of days. Um, I got up today, I went to the gym, I worked. Of course, um, today was my last day having a meal. I did eat something today because honestly, y'all, I was a little nervous. Like I started to feel that hunger, hunger, and I knew it wasn't an option tomorrow or the next day. So I didn't want to just kind of get it out the way. I wound up having a lean cuisine. It was like a meatloaf one. It had like 20 grams of protein. So I feel good about it. I've been kind of restless the last couple nights, but I feel like tonight's gonna be a good night of sleep. I have to get up early in the morning. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., which means I need to be leaving my house by 9 a.m., which means I need to be waking up at 6 a.m. so I could get up, go to the gym, and be able to detangle, wash, and blow dry my hair. Being a girl is so hard. Mm, good morning. Today is Tuesday, March 19th. <sighs> Today is a full no food day, all liquids. Tomorrow's another no food day, all liquids. I am about to <sighs> detangle my hair. Um, I woke up later than I planned, so no gym today. It's okay. Two days of rest is good before surgery, I'm sure. Um, I slept okay last night. I felt like I had to definitely start some breathing exercises. My brain started wondering about everything, but I'm feeling good this morning. I'm not gonna take my mirror lax until I get home because I don't wanna be in the chair. Oh. Fresh, yep. Hair blown, yep. About to get braided, yup. Yeah, let's tell the truth. I'm a hair girl. I am shaking my boots about the fact that I know I'm about to lose some hair. Like, damn, a bitch just got some hair. When I say y'all, my hair literally just started growing. It just started growing. And it's already about to be gone. It's already about to be gone. I gotta get my dog a little ice water before I go because... I know I'm about to be gone all day. All day. Water. I haven't had my protein shake yet, but I am taking it with me. I'm taking the protein shake and the Gatorade Zero. I really should be taking two protein shakes for real, for real, but I don't think I have anywhere to put it. And I don't think they got some ice. I'm just gonna bring it with me. I'd rather have it and be strapped than not. Like actually, this morning, I'm gonna drink this one. And then for later, I'm gonna drink this one. Cause I can put this on ice and I know I'll enjoy this. Not so much, so I'll drink this on the way there. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all when I'm a Betty. When I'm a Betty, when I'm a Betty. That's right now. <laughs> one thing about me, I don't care how cute I think I am. Before I go home, I'm putting my scarf on. Like, I'm not leaving no hair appointment just raw. What? I always strap up. 
Anyways, I just got back home not too long ago and I gotta put up a package. Ugh. It's my lifelong vitamins! Woo! Now listen, I recently talked about on TikTok the fact that while yes, I'm so excited and genuinely thankful that I'm able to have weight loss surgery, this shit is not ideal. It's not ideal to be on vitamins for the rest of my life, okay? Or my hair is gonna fall out. I'm gonna lose teeth. Like, this shit is no joke. This is nothing to play with. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Okay. How big are these pills? 60 tablets. These are chewables, okay, I'm gonna say, what? This is the, okay, so if you get the duodenal switch, they recommend this vitamin. High ADEK multi with iron. And I got the tropical fruit flavor. I got a three month supply. I need to look back on my thing to see how often you take these. Okay, so I have to take the high ADEK multi with iron. You take that one, you take it twice a day, 12 hours apart. So one in the morning, one in the evening, and I start taking this two weeks post-op. And then this other, yo, what the fuck? This is literally insane. Calcium citrate chewy bite, 500 milligrams of calcium and vitamin D, sugar-free, 90 soft chews, I got the multi-flavor pack, strawberry, lemon, raspberry, tropical orange, and then you take these, bitch, three times a day, three times a day, and start taking these three to six weeks post-op whenever I'm adjusted to the multivitamin. And you gotta take these two hours apart from the multivitamin. I'm gonna need a fucking beep, 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 beep to keep up with myself. I feel like this is making it way more dramatic than what it really is, but it's the day before surgery. At this point, I feel like I can cry at the drop of a dime, honey. I um, am so thankful just really to have so many people pouring into me. Um, I would be lying if I said that this is just such an easy decision between the lifelong commitment of vitamins nonstop and the prioritization of protein nonstop and of course just going into tomorrow um grateful but still you know a person that's going to be there for me is a person i met six seven months ago and um I feel like when life feels like it's on the line, you just evaluate so much. And I didn't even realize how much forgiveness I needed to exercise as I've started embarking on this process. Um, besides that, I am feeling high spirits. Okay, I'm feeling high spirits. I feel like I'm about to be, you know, a whole new version of me. Like I am looking forward to who and what I'm going to become and unlock and gain access to. I feel super excited that one, it's happening on such a cool day. Three, two, one. Blast off, a new beginning. Like, you ain't fuck me, fuck the old body. I had to look up, how does anesthesia work? Cause I didn't understand it. My, my wig could not wrap around. How do they just put you to sleep and then have you rise again. Do you trust that? Not me, I don't really trust that, but I do now. And they got more knowledge than me. They got more knowledge than me, I got a business degree. They got medical degrees, you know, so I trust them. I trust them. Stesia, on the other hand, that's a little tricky. It's the night before surgery. I'm all packed up. I've just been reflecting all day just about how far I've really come, 
how long it's really taking me to get here. This is four years in the making. I've been talking about this for four years, dreaming about this for four years, thinking about what life would be like in a different body with different access. It's so foreign. Sometimes foreign is intimidating. I feel like knowing that from this point on, nothing holds me back, makes me a little nervous, but excited. More excited than nervous, but I'd be lying if I said the nerves weren't there. I feel like the responsibility is mine even more. It was already mine, but when you have blockers and sometimes just excuses, you find yourself living in those limitations. But I'm breaking those. And I know I deserve to. I know that. It took me some time to believe it. But it's true. These last 14 days have taught me so much about myself, my limits, my ability to push myself, my ability to stay disciplined. And I fell short sometimes, but I rocked it out 90% of the way. Now, tomorrow, I'm giving 100% of my faith in God above all and trust that the surgeon will do his job as he's been doing it. And this isn't where my story stops, but a new beginning. I hope you enjoyed this 14 day diary. In the morning we embark on a whole new journey. Bye honey.